Hello everyone, I am the Black Shadow and welcome to 2018. Um, and uh, of course, as I said, we're going to be starting the year off with Organ Trail. It's a game I've got um, not the most experience with in the world. Um, I've certainly seen a few runs of this game um, before on, on, on various channels. Um, it's always kind of interested me. I've been kind of looking to obviously LP the game. It was certainly ever since we did the original Oregon Trail, or Oregon Trail 2, I should say, uh, a little while back. Um, it's a nice little sort of zombie themed um, variant of the game, whereas uh, rather than fighting dysentery, instead we're fighting the undead hordes. And also dysentery as well. Yeah, it, it's, it's like the worst of both worlds. It should be entertaining! Uh, so, uh, we're not going to hang around too very much, just to make sure my options are pretty good. I had a little play around with these uh, previously. Uh, I'm going to only do like a couple of videos of this, just to uh, um, yeah, see how my voice goes. It may or may not last particularly long, in which case it's fine. I've only done one, that's okay. Um, because I don't want to sound like this for the rest of 2018. It'd be pretty bad. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, oh boy. Right. Okay then, so I did a little couple of test runs here, so uh, we'll just get rid of these, just to make sure the game was reasonably working okay. Right. So there are two game modes uh, for us available. There is a general campaign and there is the endless mode. Uh, I do intend to make at least one a crack of uh, both of these. Uh, that's why I asked for quite a few uh, uh, submissions for names, as I do intend to do more than one run. Uh, so, what are we going to do first? Well, of course, we're going to do the campaign, so let's pick it up. Difficulties! Right, okay. So, there are four difficulties. A uh, difficulty you pick will determine the amount of supplies you can scavenge. It also affects, like, enemies, distances, and how often bad things happen, because bad things will happen, folks. It's the zombie apocalypse. We get more score at the end. Now, as I've said, I'm not the most experienced with this game uh, at the moment uh, at all. Um, I've only like played it like a very short amount just to make sure it was all kind of working. Um, so, I think for the moment, suicide would probably be a bad idea. But I'm always good for challenging myself, so I'm going to go with difficult. Uh, yes, yeah, the Steam version, so you can do like co-op stuff. I'm not worried about that. Got a choice of a few characters. Uh, you got a standard four here: uh, the dude, the other dude, the lady, and the other lady. I also unlocked this uh, here, uh, this guy, this one here from uh, a little thing, a little, a little extra thing you can do. Uh, it's kind of cool, uh, but I'm not going to show it off. But we're not going to be doing any of those. We're going to do this with the dude. There's a few more here you can do various bits and pieces. Maybe I'll get to show some of these off. Let's see. Alright then, uh, we are going to play the intro because, uh, you know, some of you may have never seen this game before, so we're going to play it out. <laughs> so, to shoot uh, things, we're going to have to do a lot, click on the enemy, like so, uh, and then draw a line towards yourself to shoot. And you'll see how there's like this little line here which you can direct. And let go. You shoot. You can you can draw this line from wherever you want. So I can draw it from over here and like pull it back. Um, you know, which is all well and good. You can pull it from like behind. I tend to like click my character and do it. Just feels a bit more um, easy to aim. So that's pretty good. See the reloading there. Oh boy, that's not good. Um, oh dear. Out of ammo. Uh oh. Hey, who's that? Yeah, he's double tapped that dude. He just saved our bacon. Well, thank you very much. This here is Clements. Uh, he used to be a priest, but uh, obviously, kind of, uh, he's been kind of given his P45 courtesy of the local, uh, yeah, the, the problems undergoing the world. What's our name, partner? Well, of course, we are the Black Shadow. Even if I don't sound quite like him at the moment, honestly, I'm him. Right, so uh, we're going to need to go and get some help with us, folks. Um, do you know anyone we can count on in a pinch? 
So for each journey you make, uh, whatever, whatever game mode it is, you can take four people with you. Of course, these characters can change as you go because people can die. Uh, so, as I did in a previous update video, I've taken a list of names and applicants for people who are willing to brave this this uh, lovely new world. And uh, the first four have been chosen. And I couldn't quite believe who the hell's got on this first ride. I think it might be a slight fix. But, it's random draw. So, our first contestant for the day is going to be Kersey of Gallantmon. A little lady called Velvet. Second up, Kersey of uh, Colonus. I, I, I never remember how to pronounce this. Is oh, Colonus. I uh, don't know how many, how many spaces can you actually type for these. Nine, ten, uh, twelve characters. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, third up um, was uh, one of Marios UK. He's back on. Um, again, if you haven't got chosen on this first round, don't worry. Could we at least one more run of this game? So hopefully it'll be alright. And then the last draw. I swear this is a fix. Um, I don't know how. I mean, like, it's just... It, I, I literally pick names out of a hat. And of course, somehow... Some way... He just... He just keeps getting chosen. This has got to be a fix, right? I mean, come on. We are so doomed, surely. This is a disaster. Way to happen. Come on, Albert. Oh, boy. This chicken shot's still alive. They'll be at a show set up in DC. Then we're going to get away. We saw an old station wagon a few blocks back. Uh, not very reliable, but, uh, you know, better, better than kicking the teeth, right? So we get to pick our ride. All we've got lots of moment is the station wagon. It's got speed, you be run ability, do various things. These are all nice and uh, basic. A few other variants of things you can unlock, uh, depending on uh, conditions that you'll complete. But we haven't done any of that yet, so we can't do any of that. So we can use uh, the uh, WAS or arrow keys move. I'm quite losing uh, WSD for this game. Uh, you can practice shooting as well, shooting little targets. So I'd like trying to practice like shooting on the move. <coughs> so the moment you've drawn the line, you can shoot. Obviously, you've got to bear in mind that it's not going to be particularly accurate, and you will have to wait for your weapon to potentially reload. And some weapons will need to do that. But being mobile and keeping out of the way of baddies is uh, pretty damn important. And I'm going to need to practice this as I play through the game because I've barely played it. Just got enough fuel and food to make it uh, to uh, DC. All right, thank you very much, Clements. He's a cool dude. 135 miles to Washington DC, and uh, Clements is gonna be driving so away. Okay, let's uh, take it easy. Lead us to victory. Clements has a broken arm. Good job. That was a dysentery. Jeez. It's about walking wounded. What is wrong with you, man? What are you doing? He was bitten by a zombie? Yeah, Clements, uh... Clements is not a lucky dude. As he said, just enough fuel to get us to uh, DC here. Yikes. That sucks. But we're here in uh, what's left of uh, the nation's capital. It's uh, kind of a sorry sight. It's quite bad. Just as the station wagon runs out of fuel, you'll hear a nearby radio. All survivors who still remain in Washington DC, the government has declared a class 3 biohazard in the area. They will be commencing a nuclear strike within a few short hours. Get out while you can. The city is lost. Obviously, this is pretty bad. Uh, so Clemens is going to go look for our friends while he suggests that we go do some scavenging. How is a place on the west coast that's supposed to be a safe haven from all this chaos? Uh, Clemens will give us his journal, which has got various bits of information on how to survive uh, the, uh, the nastiness that's around. Which is pretty good. 
Here we can have a look at this. So this will give you clues on, like, tips about how all the resources in the game work. Uh, which there's quite a lot of bits and pieces here. Just show you off nice and quickly. So fuel used for travelling, four hours on a gas, of ta a tank of gas. It's good to remember a lot of these numbers and try and memorise them just for sort of quick reference because uh, your supplies can change pretty damn quick. Uh, pretty damn quick. Uh, food, of course, we need this to, uh, yeah. <laughs> Scavenging is the easiest way to get food, other than all the zombies. Funny. Uh, so you also you'll eat uh, various amounts, depending on how much you ration. Med kits, of course, for doing a bit of healing on the on the uh, trip, which is always good. You never know when things are going to go bad. The world has gone to shit. It's a great thing that America loves its guns. <laughs> Uh, yeah, ammo, of course, incredibly important. You don't want to, uh, you don't want to run out of ammo. That's bad. Money still has some use on the travels. Uh, still people who think that it uh, applies to anything. So, you know, it's always worth keeping half an eye on it. But, uh, you know, it's not imperative. But we'll find source of that as we go. We've got uh, car parts here. Of course, um, our, our wagon. Station wagon. Funny, right? Uh, can, of course, break down, so we need to keep some spare car parts on us um, in case things do break down, because if they do, we ain't got spares. We're sitting ducks. This is bad. And we got scrap around, so if we need to uh, fix our car gradually, is it will sort of go down with wear and tear. It's its own thing. We can go and repair it. We can also go to like shops as well in cities. They can repair our wagon for us. That's all pretty good. Uh, but, uh, you know, you've got various ways of doing that. Again, got to keep it going. Right, so we've got eight hours to supply. So if we just grab like one of each and just look at the amounts we get. Right, so that's how much we can gather in an hour. Right. We need more food than that. We need more fuel. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip the batteries of the muffler. We're going to get some more food, and we're going to get some more fuel. I could just forsake the tyres as well. I mean, food's pretty damn important, but you can scavenge quite a lot of it around, actually. There's quite a lot still go still around. I mean, the world's gone to hell and hard hand basket. It didn't happen all that long ago. Uh, make it always good in emergency. 200 bullets should be pretty good for us. You don't need crazy amounts of that. <coughs> 50 bucks is fine. I think this is okay. Uh, out of the free tires, batteries, mufflers. I'm going to go with tires. I'm pretty happy with that. Yay! Who of you will betray me first? Is it you? I'm watching you. There's just one problem, however. Of course, remember Clem's got bit. Um, already he's not feeling too well and he can't stand the fall become one of them. So he wants us to take him down. Poor bastard. Well, thank you for your assistance and helping and uh, hopefully you're going to find a better place than this. So, we have no choice but to put him down. Same way as normal, just draw the line. Goodbye. <sighs> Poor Clemens. I don't think you can't save anything like that. So we must travel from. What we're going to do is to travel from uh, Washington, D.C. all the way over to a, an apparent safe haven over here on the, uh, the west coast, folks. Uh, as you can see, we've got a long way to travel, and there's bad things in the way, potentially. So, we need to pick our routes as best we can. <laughs> Luckily, of course, this is the uh, final complete version of the game as well. So, I've got all the extra bits and pieces that I've gradually put into the game as we went. I've got act, I've got all of it, which is pretty, pretty damn sweet. So, what do you want to go first? We've got a choice. We need to go to Pittsburgh. 
or we can go to the Gourd Bridge. Right now, I don't want to fuck around with radiation. I'll go into this a little bit later on. I am aware of where it is and how it works. I don't want to screw around this right now. I can't even get my grips on bearings of the game. We kind of build up some supplies, so we're going to head on over to Pittsburgh. Sounds good to me. 320 miles to Pittsburgh. Well, before we go anywhere, we are going to go into... Uh, oh, it makes us travel for an hour. Okay, then. It starts raining heavily. Great. Right, so before we go anywhere, we are going to look at our situation. So, the game uh, will move forward in hours, um, and it counts for all 24. Uh, shouldn't there still be like, uh... We gotta pause it? Here we are. Ah, shit. So we can still visit the help, um, and you know, we can use this to look at various things that are going on. Uh, of how things work in the game. I got a general understanding how the game works, so it's not too bad. Uh, again, the resources, that's from the journal. How combat will work, which is well and good. Combat encounters during the day will attract fewer zombies than at night. This is very important, so you want to be trying to prioritize your activities. You want to be, if you're going to go scavenging, go scavenging during the day. You don't really want to do it during the night because they can get pretty freaking dangerous. Not good. Uh, health will gradually reduce while on the road. Uh, the driver's immune for it as long as his passengers are alive. Um, so that's kind of good. So you need to make sure you keep the passengers you've got alive as long as you can. Because uh, if they all go, your driver is susceptible to all sorts of hell. And it will go bad very, very quickly. And just don't die. Hope you don't get bitten. Um, and if you do get sick, you'll need to obviously recover that because you'll take a lot more damage much, much quicker. Oh, that's about what we need to go on about that. Okay. This has got to be the worst car in history. Wow. Right. <laughs> So yes, as I said, so the game will move forward in hour intervals. Bear in mind, of course, every hour we travel, we'll use up a quarter can of gas. Uh, and that's regardless of the speed we're going, folks. I'll show you here. So we can obviously set various up bits of the car here. Now, so we can set our very paces. So we can go either slow, normal, or turbo. This will all use the same amount of gas. But you have to bear in mind, of course, that the faster you, pu you push the car, it's going to wear down a lot quicker. Currently, we don't really have any scrap. Ten scrap is not a lot, so uh, we are just going to go on medium for now until I can start building this up, and then we can look to be a bit more crazy. Carlos, of course, has broken his leg, so he's not feeling too great. Good job. We can talk to some strangers as well, get some advice in the game, some clues of things that can happen. That's always fun. Uh, we don't need to repair that wagon, we get upgrades, it's all well and good. Right, so it's still like early afternoon. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of scavenging for the moment. Just try and build up some supplies. It's usually reasonably easy as long as you don't do it like the middle of the night. That shit can get pretty fucking dangerous. Uh, it will take an hour to do so. So we're going to go do a bit of scavenging. Alright then. Three different weapons. Uh, I'll show them off for now. But uh, we're just going to run with the rifle which is what we're using for that little defensey bit there. It's quite cool. Alright, so what we're looking for is little drops like this thing here. Uh, these little things last for about a minute or so, uh, about 45 seconds. We're going to need to defend ourselves here. This is, uh, this is unacceptable. Oh, that's a lot of food. Oi! Get back here! You ain't, ain't taking my food! Get the fuck out of my face. Yeah, there are of course other survivors. Oh shit. Ooh! Fuck! This is bad. Don't want to be on the edge of the screen here, because of course this is where all the zombies will spawn in from. Oh shit. Leave me alone! Fuckers. 
Alright, 265 ounces of food there. That shopping cart, I think it's like 250. It's ridiculous. That's a lot of food. We can only carry about 250 though, so that's kind of a shame. But yeah, you've got to face yourself with zombies. There'll be other scavengers that'll be trying to get hold of your stuff as well. You're not fucking around. 6 p.m. Zombie TV is now high. We're going to do one more scavenge, and then we're going to move on, I believe. Stick with the rifle for now. Some food up there. We shall attempt to claim this. You notice there's very different types of enemies, so like, uh, these normal guys will just take the one shot. Guys on the ground uh, still take one shot, but they can like move past like objects quite easily. Uh, you also got little big guys that will take a couple of hits. This does not look good. Oh shit. Run! Oh fuck. Damn it. Got got caught there, just got surrounded. That was sloppy. Well, we still managed to carry back our food, but we have taken some damage. Damn. Alright then, we're going to move on. Uh, we can change the amount of rationing we do, uh, which will affect uh, how much health reduce. If we help people with large rationing, they will not lose health while travelling. Medium or small will gradually will it down. We're just going to stick with medium for now. Sounds good. Right, I think what we're going to do is we're going to head up, just get on over to, uh, to um, Pittsburgh here, I think. Sky has cleared up. Yeah, usually a good thing you do. You don't want to be traveling around, but it's like raining or like there's fog. <coughs> Bad things can happen. So usually just do stuff while waiting. It's always pretty, pretty good. Just buy some time. Damn, I'm having a. This is not going well. Of course, Wesker has no issues with anything. Typical. No disasters. Let's just get to freaking. Uh, let's just get there. Yeah, zombie activity currently is deadly. You do not want to be out this time of the day. We've lost the gas can. Ugh. Shit. I I don't want to hang around at all. Let's just let's just get to freaking Pittsburgh. Here yeah, we can jump, but botch the landing. Station wagon. Holy shit. Holy shit. You feel like someone or something is following you. That doesn't sound good. But we've made it in Pittsburgh. In not the best of states in the world, but uh, at least we're alive. Lovely. Right, well I think what we're going to do, I'm going to end this video here. Uh, just a nice little introduction there. Uh, when we rejoin next time, we're going to have a little actual trill through uh, how cities work. They give you access to various bits and pieces that you can't do. Mainly you can do some buying and selling, you can look for some jobs, for some supplies. You can also fix up your car as well. So we're going to be spending a little bit of time here in Pittsburgh and just uh, recovering from a uh, pretty rough start. Pretty, pretty rough start. I'll see you next time.